G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I am continuing on with my progress in building this um, mechanical 32 line NB TV camera. What I've done so far is um, found me a enclosure which might be suitable for housing this camera. Um, yeah, I had to look around and find stuff and that's of that could be useful and I found me a CD um, pack container which which I believe would be of great use so I've um I've been sort of cutting the holes and everything <laughs> looks kind of like a floppy disk in a sense but yeah anyways um what's going to happen is on um, the motor is going to be sitting in here like so the back side of it coming out the back center there um, the nipco disc scanner to pick up the image it's going to be sitting in like so so it's going to freely spin inside the enclosure now uh, the lens is going to be mounted here strategically pick the um, spot where it will hopefully should be in um, alignment with the with the holes of the in the disc and on the back that little gap there is where I'm going to set the um, light dependent resistor which will be the image pickup device this is going to be my first um, it's the first thing I'm going to be experimenting with um, image pickup for an image pickup device. So I, was, I found a circuit here which I or which I drew up off the computer off um, the MBTV forums, which involves a light dependent resistor which which will fluctuate in light levels according to how much light um, enters through each hole of the NIPCO disk, which will in its variations will will pretty much form the picture uh, low band narrow band in uh, 32 line image signal so yeah the resistor will adjust in um, in variance the there's also an adjustment pot there to I guess adjust the output signal level um, I'm not exactly sure what it exactly what it adjust but anyhow um, I'll work that one out and it's got a transistor there to which the um, when the light dependent resistor varies in resistance the output current varies so hence we'll get a um, waveform at the output which you, which will be our 32 line NBTV signal anyway as the circuit runs off 5 volts So, yeah, probably hook this up to a battery or even. Anyway, um, so there we go. Well, this will be the first thing I'm going to be trying out, a light-dependent resistor. I don't know how well this is going to work out yet. I'm just going along with what I think would probably work. I can only experiment. I've also bought from J-Car, um, no, that's the wrong bag, uh, I also bought from JCAR a, a photo transistor, which is which is which looks like a LED. I'll try and look it out. Okay, um, here we are. Yep, this little fella here, which looks like a LE, a, a normal LED. Um, which I, which you'd assume would output a clear um, LED, um, clear light, is actually a photo transistor, which, which the, um, which I believe the, send the um, center part here is the base pickup, which will pick up the light levels like a light dependent resistor, and will, of course, work like a transistor. And the variance would of um out of um base to collect the base to emitter current will be 
according to the amount of light that hits the base of the um, phototransistor. Anyways, um, that's how I guess it works anyhow. Could be wrong, but anyways, um, that would be the other image pickup device I'm going to be trying out should the light dependent resistor not work. I also understand the, uh, the light dependent resistor is actually smaller than the width of the the total width of and height of the Nipco disc hole distance which you know the picture is bigger than the uh, light dependent resistor so what I might have to do is put um, put some silver um, sort of chrome cellophane around around this uh, light dependent resistor to hopefully bounce the light from the edges onto the onto the uh, light dependent resistor so it'll pick it up that's uh, one idea I have in mind anyhow um, this is pretty much the progress I'm making I've made so far with the camera the next thing I'm going to be doing before I assemble this all is to spray paint this box black and matte black. I've um, sanded it down so the paint will should hopefully stick easier. And um, yeah, I bought from Yandera Hardware Man a cheap can of um, of matte flat black paint, spray paint. So that'll be the next thing I'll be doing. Hopefully it'll turn out good as well. Anyway, this is the update I've made and yeah, it's a work in progress and I'll keep you updated with future videos. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.